Mark, you make three changes this afternoon, one in defence, one midfield, one up front. What's the main thinking behind that? Just using the squad and keeping it fresh. You know, we have a lot of boys who have been outstanding for us and, and have a lot of minutes on the pitch. Um, and the demands of a club like Rangers sometimes, as you saw with Barry Mackay early in the season, Lee Wallace through a couple of games of injury, it's good to take him out again, refresh and, and go back in. Joe Garner starts for the first time since his shoulder injury. How confident are you that that can hold up? No, fine. He's worked hard. He's worked very hard. All credit to the medical team. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Joe's been outstanding in terms of his rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. So he's trained full contact for over a week. He's mm -hmm. been in good shape. He's ready to play. So he, he won't have match fitness. Hasn't been played since New Year's Eve, but certainly he'll, uh, he'll give all that effort for an hour or so. Philippe Sindaros comes in at the back. He's not played that much football since he's been here. Are you confident with the way that you've seen him perform in training that he can step up? Yeah, again, he's a, he's a very seasoned, uh, very experienced campaigner. He, he's been chomping a bit, frustrated not playing. As any player who's not on the team, they always just say they have to be that way. Um, but he's trained well, and um, as I say, it's just um, it's a chance to throw him in there and, and see how he does. How vital is a reaction from your team after the result the other week? I think we'd, such games define you, define you as a, an individual. We just spoke to players, exactly saying the same thing. It defines you as an individual, it defines you as a team. Mm -hmm. how, you, how you deal with adversity, how you deal with challenge. No excuses, we had a bad day at the office. Okay. Simple as that. We, um, we fell below the standard that I think the team had delivered on a, on a regular basis. And, it's, and the reaction to that is really important for us. So the boys recognise it, they recognise responsibility, and we're looking forward to playing in front of a packed house today. Were you slightly angered by comments after that game? I've been angered by a lot of comments after the game. From the point of view that um, no doubt we had a bad day, no doubt that's, that's never a problem, and you expect all, of the, all the negativity in relation to that. But the team was second. Mm -hmm. The team was second. I read so much about are we happy to settle for second. Of course we're not. If any Rangers fan thinks any players or staff are, are happy to come second, then it's just nonsense. Uh, but I think it's far better that the Rangers fans, having what they've been through for the last four or five years, honesty is the best policy. Absolutely. Be honest with the fans. And the fact is now we have to get back, we have to build and we have to close the gap on our, on our nearest rivals, of course, but do it in a manner which is sustainable. Uh, and we're not going to go out and buy a 20 million pound striker, or 10 million pound striker. It's not going to happen. What we have to do is build slowly. So are we happy with second? Never. Mm -hmm. Never. But it's a reality at the moment and we have to build, we have to get this club back into Europe and get the income from Europe. Um, it may be selling the player down the line. Yeah. Maybe it is. But right now we have to find a way and we will do. And just lastly, what do you expect from Ross County? You've had two draws against them already this season. Two draws. Very organised. Very well organised. Very diligent. Very dangerous set pieces. Mm -hmm. um, good use of blocks, etc. set pieces. And obviously rehearsed very well. A lot of respect for Jim in terms of his managerial skills. So we know we face another, another tough test. But it's the same every week. Home or away, it's a tough test. So um, we're looking forward to it. The pitch is in great condition. Hopefully it stops raining and we'll have a good game. <laughs>